So yeah, this is basically a chaotic bunch of Lego bricks, but like everything in life, it's just a matter of perspective. What if I tell you that this mess of Lego is actually more than it appears? Like a piece of art that hangs on the wall in my living room. You will probably recognize a pattern and you're right, it is a QR code. And this is a microphone. Uh, don't forget, it's a film about the LEGO QR code. But where does it link to? And will my smartphone recognize it? I'm gonna tell you. But first, I wanna show you how I built this tricky LEGO QR code. So, as you probably hear, I'm German, and Germans are kind of crazy. I mean, we just switched off all of our nuclear power plants. And we just like tools. So I drilled five holes in those 32 by 32 ground plates. And these plates aren't original Lego. They literally stick better with the original Lego bricks. I don't only do this with one ground plate, but with 16. I think you can see all the holes that I drilled. There are 80 of them. And this is a so-called Tischlerplatte. And this will be my ground plate ground plate. I think I don't need to describe what I'm doing here. This step is really important. I take some bricks and stick all the great plates together so that all the ground plates will get the right distance to each other. Otherwise there will be a problem later. This means screwing. And yeah, I drilled 80 holes, so I'm gonna give it 80 screws. It's important to tighten the screws enough so that the Lego bricks will fit even directly on the screws. I return the distance bricks because I won't need them. Hit it. That's what I'm talking about. Wait. I mean, okay. isn't this a nice ground plate? Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! The whole square delivers an amount of 16,348 Lego knobs. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. It has a width of 102 centimeters or 128 by 128 knobs. In terms of storytelling, we are now reaching an important but for you rather boring part. Building. I begin with some kind of ground noise Lego base, just to have some bricks on the plate that everyone can see. Uh, yeah, it's Lego. And to give it some three-dimensional structure. At this point, I'm not even sure if this Lego QR code will ever work. So it's also some kind of experiment. The pattern that I need to build. You will find many websites where you can generate QR codes. I took this one. That's the code I'm gonna brick build. And believe me, you won't imagine how long it takes to build it. I mean, I'm not a full-time brick builder, but I felt like one. All in all, it took me five times longer than I thought, because it's so detailed. The golden knobs are representing dark or light spots. It's for navigating myself, so that I know which color this area needs to have. And I made an assumption, I think, slash hope, that the phone's camera will recognize blue, red, gray and shadows as black, orange and yellow as white. But I'm really not sure about this. One eternity later. The LEGO brick QR code seems to be kind of ready. These golden, let's say, navigation knobs are still present. It took me around six weeks to get here. And I'm curious as hell. Will my phone scan the QR code? So I have one camera in my left hand and I'm... Where's, where's my phone?
And as you can see, it doesn't scan. Perfect. Yeah. Although it could, but it just doesn't. Solution time. Due to different lighting conditions, the red and blue bricks aren't perfectly recognized as black, contrary to my assumption. So, I need to increase the contrast by adding black and white bricks to LEGO City. This little guy should be recognized as white, but I'm still not sure if my phone will scan it. So yeah, the chaotic LEGO bunch looks interesting if you go very close. But the goal is to scan it, right? Will it work? We will find out very soon. The whole brick cluster now weighs around 20 kilograms. To hang it on the wall, I will need a stable mount. I take wooden slats for this. Looks promising. The next day. I could watch this all the time. Does this tell something about my nerd factor? Maybe. But come on, let's see if it scans. Yes! It links! It links to buildingfantastic.com. That is a website for fantastic things like circular interior solutions. And I told you that the code hangs on the wall in my living room. My whole Art Nouveau apartment is designed to be circular. Keyword cradle to cradle. More about that on this channel or on buildingfantastic.com. Thank you for watching. Keyword cradle to cradle. Keyword cradle to cradle. Keyword, cradle to cradle. Keyword, cradle. Keyword, cradle to cradle. Keyword, cradle to cradle. Keyword, cradle to cradle. Keyword, keyword, cradle to cradle.